the second string and the third finger goes to the fourth string. And this is your cage C chord minus that extra note. It's only the top four strings. And then there melodically you have A, B flat, and C. Those three notes are available out of that chord. There's the A, then there's the B flat. That's where I lay this knuckle down. And then the C, which I play with my uh, little finger right here. But you notice I don't change this fingering here at all. It's just I lay my second finger down. That's the most difficult one for people. I've been doing this a long time. I'm like the gymnast that can do the back, you know, backward stuff. Right. I've got the flexibility in the knuckle from many years of playing. Okay. So now we're at the C, and we're going to go to the A form. And that's your A form like this. And then you want the, the D, that's your next note. So you can go like this, just with one finger. It really doesn't care which finger you use. I use my first finger as a, as a general rule. And then you have the E. And then finally the, the F. And the, and the F is just a... Uh, right here and it's still the A form but it's kind of a hybrid of the A and what you call the G form. Okay. So there it is. If this is at the tenth fret and this note right here is an F as your root. Side. Okay. The, the idea is to, to train yourself to want to be um, uh, comfortable with those forms and to see that uh, uh, whenever you have an extra finger left over, it allows you to play some kind of a melodic uh, activity. Okay. And uh, uh, then 